गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल आई एम वेरी एक्साइटेड अबाउट टूडेज वीडियो बिकॉज मेकअप वीडियोज आर माई फेवरेट दिस इज नॉट जस्ट अनदर मेकअप वीडियो टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डू अ फुल फेस मेकअप लुक यूजिंग प्रोडक्ट्स फ्रॉम कलर बार कलर बार हैज बीन वन ऑफ माई फेवरेट मेकअप ब्रांड सिंस द पास टेन ट्वेल्व ईयर्स आई हैड सो मेनी ऑफ देयर लिपस्टिक एंड लिप क्लॉसेज वेन दैट वॉज द ओनली मेकअप आई यूज दे डू लॉट्स ऑफ मेकअप एंड अदर ब्यूटी प्रोडक्ट्स एज वेल By the way I have a huge giveaway with color bar on my Instagram so don't forget to check that out First let me show you the new color bar products that I am so excited to try today and then we'll start with the makeup tutorial This is the first product from Color Bar that I am going to use. It's an illumination lotion. This acts as a light moisturizer but gives your skin a glow. So take a look at the packaging. Comes in a pump dispenser and it can be twisted up to bring out the nozzle. The lotion is thick in consistency and you can see how pink it is from the very first time you swatch it. The lotion can be mixed with your skin care or primer or foundation which I think is brilliant for dull and dry skin. My skin is pale and it will provide a sheer luminizing pearly glow to it. It gives good hydration to the skin as well. Now I will apply the foundation and for this I have two shades of Color Bar 24 hours weightless foundation. The first shade is FW 1.4 and the second shade is FW 2.1. So as you can see the packaging looks like this. I'll swatch both shades on my face and let's see which one is closer to my skin tone. First the shade number 1.4. Yeah, it's quite close but I think it's slightly lighter. Now the second one. I picked these two shades with the help of a shade card on the color bar website which is really helpful for choosing the shade online. Let's see. Oh, this guy is also close. You can see both shades. So what I will do is mix them to get the exact color. This is a light medium coverage foundation with a very lightweight texture. These days I am enjoying such light coverage foundation. Of course you can build the coverage if you want. But in this season my skin can't afford a heavy foundation that completely hides my skin. You can build this foundation up quite a bit without it ever looking heavy. One layer easily covers up my redness. It also diminishes the look of pores, fine lines and other imperfections. To set my entire face I am going to use a translucent compact powder. Time to contour my face and for this I have this angled contouring brush from Color Bar. It's a pro contouring brush with a natural goat hair bristles and a black handle. The bristles are soft and the angle shape is ideal for precise application of bronzer and highlighter. I am using Hoola Matte Bronzer for Benefit Cosmetics. As you can see how smoothly this brush is working on all these areas. I absolutely love this brush. It's big enough to tackle larger areas besides your face. Like your collarbones and even the tops of your shoulders. I am applying the concealer to brighten up my under eye area and cover the unevenness on my eyelids. I am blending everything with a concealer brush. For my brows I am going to use the Benefit Gimme Brow Volumizing Gel. What I love about this is that it instantly seems to make my brows look fuller. It draws attention to every tiny little hair and suddenly makes everything look more defined. 
I am done with my brows but my lips are feeling slightly dry. But no worries, I have something for these dry lips. It's the Skin Lighten Up Lip Mender which is a light yet pampering lip conditioner that smooths and lightens dry, dark and chapped lips. With the metallic pump of the mender and the bottle, everything is gorgeous. The mender is a light water based cream actually, it is not a gel or a balm. You can actually rub it over the lips like a cream. It has made my lips feeling soft and plump instantly. Coming to eye makeup, I have this lovely color bar eyeshadow palette party all night and I am going to use today. I am using it for the first time. It comes as this glossy black palette. The palette has a decent sized mirror but there is no brush. Moving on to the shadows, it contains a total of 7 colors. I love this gorgeous blue, green, coral and black color collection. Start my makeup with this pink with orangey undertones shade. It's a lovely soft peachy shade and I am applying it on my crease. The texture is soft and creamy and as you can see it's not powdery at all and blends effortlessly. I'm picking the third shade from the palette. This is pink with red undertones and I'm applying it on my outer corners. It's so pigmented and the texture is so creamy and smooth. I really love this shade. Can you see how beautiful these two shades are looking? Next I am going to be using the other palette from Color Bar and it's the Color Bar New 12 Eyeshadow Palette. This palette has a classy rose gold packaging that looks luxurious. Inside the palette there are 12 beautiful nude shades. You can see all are wearable for daily use. From black, beige, brown, peach, champagne to pink and white all nude shades that one can imagine you get in this palette. Each shade has a name written in front of it. This palette comes with a lovely dual ended brush which is really useful. Only thing that I am missing in this palette is a mirror. It's a downside of this palette. I am taking this light peach shade called Frank and applying it to soften the harsh edges by blending it with this brush. The bristles of this brush are soft and feel good. I wish all brands could provide a brush with their eyeshadow palettes. I love this shade too. Moving on to the other palette and taking this black shade to intensify the outer corners. The shade is soft and silky with less fallout. I am loving the quality of both palettes. All shades are so soft and silky plus they blend so well. Smooth and effortless. I can create so many different eye makeups with these palettes. Now I will blend these out with the other end of the brush. The next shade I am using is this deep khaki green. You can see how intense and creamy this shade is. Oh, it's such a gorgeous color and really pigmented. Its smooth blendable texture effortlessly melts into the skin that I love. You can blend it with your fingers. For highlighting the brow bones, I am using the lightest shade from the palette. It's less pigmented, just has subtle shimmers that will look nice on my brow bones and inner corners. I am picking this champagne gold shade called Crush from the nude palette to highlight the center of my lids. It's a beautiful gold shade that is subtle and not overpowering. For my lower lids, I am applying the black one on the outer corner and blending it with the shade I have applied above. Then taking the peach shade for applying on the rest of the lids.
for the inner corners I am picking the pearly shade again that's all for the eyeshadows time to apply the eyeliner I have this color bar all matte eyeliner it's a black liquid eyeliner the formula is matte and dries in 20 seconds it's a long lasting eyeliner but I did not found it waterproof Time to apply the false lashes. For this, I have this new pair of lashes from Color Bar. It's the Color Bar Pro Eyelashes Strike a Pose that comes in a portable box with lash adhesive. These 3D Fox Pink Pro Eyelashes are lightweight and feel comfortable. I wanted a pair of such lashes that gives a dramatic effect to my eye makeup but not looks artificial. I'm applying a thin layer of glue to the band of lashes. This adhesive is black so it will blend with my eyeliner. I just wait for some seconds before attaching them. Now I will apply. Wow, they blend seamlessly with my natural lashes and give a flirty full finish to my eyes. I really love how they look with this makeup. I'll add some strokes of mascara to blend them with my natural lashes. I'll move to my face and for this I have this color bar glow crazy palette bombshell. The packaging of this trio palette is in a beautiful purple color that comes in a similar packaging outer box. This mirrored palette contains three creamy shades, a bronzer, blush and highlighter. It's enriched with the goodness of vitamin E. I'm going to start with the bronzer and using the color bar contour brush. Can you notice how pigmented this bronzer is and how beautifully it is melting into my skin? I'm using it in areas where I want my face to look defined. So on my cheekbones, forehead and to structure my nose. To add some color to my cheeks, I am applying the blush from the palette. It's light rosy pink which is providing a natural flush to my face. For lips, I have this color bar ever sharp lip liner in all grays. That is one of my favorite lip liners and you guys must have noticed me using it in many of my makeup tutorials. I'm filling it all over my lips. It's a lovely nude shade that I love. For lipstick, I don't have one from Color Bar, so I have chosen this peachy coral shade from Just Her because it will go perfectly with my eye makeup. It's a matte lipstick and the shade is really pretty. To add some softness and shine, I will apply a tiny amount of the lip mender on both lips and blend it with the finger. You can see it has given a soft and plump effect to my lips. I am done with my makeup and now will fix with the color bar Skin Stay the Day Finishing Mist. It has given a lovely dewy look to the face without making my skin oily. Makeup looks natural and very much put together thanks to this awesome finishing mist from Color Bar.
सो गाइज दैट्स माई फुल फेस मेकअप यूजिंग मोस्ट प्रोडक्ट्स फ्रॉम कलर बार नन ऑफ दीज प्रोडक्ट्स डिसअपॉइंटेड इन फैक्ट द आई शेडो पैलेट्स द लिप मेंडर एंड द फिनिशिंग मिस्ट आर माई न्यू फेवरेट्स वॉट आर योर फेवरेट कलर बार प्रोडक्ट्स डू लेट मी नो इन द कॉमेंट्स थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग बाय गाइज